Tonight, Mr. Speaker, tonight we mourn the 47th anniversary of Roe v. Wade. Today we mourn the loss of over 50 million American lives. Mr. Speaker, my good friend and colleague from New Jersey, my colleagues here tonight, you all know that I dedicated my professional life to delivering babies. Every day, every other day, for 30 years, I had the honor to deliver a baby. Sometimes it was one. I've delivered as many as 12 babies in a day. But a subject I've never talked about up here, a subject that few Americans talk about, is infertility and recurrent miscarriages. Hundreds of thousands of women had these problems. And for whatever reason, when I took care of women with miscarriages, women who so desperately wanted to have a baby, it might be her third, her fourth, her fifth miscarriage, unable to have a baby. It was at moments like that that I thought about Roe versus Wade. It never made sense to me. You know, this morning I read from the book of Ecclesiastes, trying to make some sense of life up here. And still, still here I am, 50-some years of age, and I haven't found the answer. How can I live in a country where in one hospital I'm fighting to help a woman keep a baby, and 100 miles away the largest abortion clinic in the country is taking life away? How can we live in that type of a country? Tonight, I pledge, I recommit, I recommit my support, my efforts to protect life. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.